All right, cool. Welcome to tonight's team call, girls. I'm super excited to have you here. It is Monday, July 23rd. We are almost through July already. Does anybody else feel like summer is just like flying by? Because I feel like it's like, it's almost August, which to me means summer's kind of winding down and the kids are going to go back to school, which is crazy to me. Um, Hopefully you have had a chance to listen to last week's team call. If you have not yet, um, it is the 24 hour push to Emerald call. It is on my YouTube channel and I also shared it in our team page under the graphic for last week's team call. So make sure you listen to that and hopefully you are pushing for that goal of Emerald because remember that unlocks our business. We can't bypass that step, you guys. That is the first step to really launching our business and getting our business off the ground, okay? The other exciting part of that is if you have been in our team group lately, which hopefully you have, you will have noticed that I changed our cover photo um, to the Dream, Decide, and Diamond, okay? That is a diamond push group that myself and several other leaders are going to be hosting in the month of August, okay? There are only two requirements to be in that group. The first is that you are an active coach, and the second is that you have four active coaches on your team. Now, I know that we're a week away from that, and it might seem a little far-fetched, or it might seem like a big goal to reach for, but you guys, do your best to reach for that, okay? If we can get to Emerald in 24 hours, which is two coaches, we can absolutely get four coaches in a week. And the benefit to being a part of that group is one, it's not only gonna help you to grow your business, but you get to be in a community of nine leaders that have built a, a substantial income, have built a, a solid business, one of them being my good friend, Meg, who earns a million dollars a year with this business. That's all she does solely is a beach body coach. Okay. You get to learn from her and some of the other leaders on her team, as well as myself to be empowered and surrounded by those strong women to help lead that way who started right where you are right? We all start from the same place. We all start from ground zero. So it's an opportunity to push yourself outside of your comfort zone, to aim to get those four coaches, to make sure that you're active and to be in a group with really strong women to help lead you forward towards your goals, as well as their coaches, right? Their coaches are going to be in there that qualify for this. So brand new coaches who are working to get a solid foundation with their business and to push outside of their comfort zone as well. So it's not just you with leaders. You're going to be surrounded with other like-minded women who are striving to push for the same goal as you. Okay. So I really hope that you're pushing for that because I am so blessed and honored that Meg asked me to be a leader on that, um, push group with her and eight of her girls, um, because it's going to be an amazing month and an amazing opportunity for us to step outside of our comfort zone. So tonight's team call is talking about inviting and I'm specifically going to be using inviting to the coaching opportunity. Now you can use this method to invite into a challenge group as well, but I am focusing on inviting to the coaching opportunity more than ever. And I really like this method for inviting to the coaching opportunity. It kind of takes that, that fear away from it. It makes it a genuine conversation. It makes it a genuine invite and it's getting a really good response. So, and it makes it exciting because I'll be honest, like for a while I quit inviting to the coaching opportunity. I heard a couple of no's. I kind of started doubting myself and I just kind of was like, okay, well I can get challengers really easily. I love having challenge groups. I love helping people get, um, get success and, and work towards our goals and reach those milestones. So that was easier for me. So guess what I stuck with my comfort zone, right? I stuck with what I was good at, but that's the growth doesn't come from staying with inside our comfort zone. Okay. It's stepping outside of that comfort zone that growth is going to happen. And we really are able to grow our business. So this whole year, I've really been focusing on inviting more to the coaching opportunity, talking more about the coaching opportunity because people are attracted and follow and their mind is wrapped around what we talk about in our social media posts, 
right? So if we're always talking about fitness and nutrition and we're always talking about challenge groups, that's great because it inspires people, but we're more likely going to attract only challengers, okay? But to really grow a solid foundation for our business and grow our income and help people on a larger scale, because we can help more people as a team of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 than we can with just one person, right? So to help people on a larger scale, we need to grow our team and empower other women to know that they can coach and mentor their loved ones to create a healthier lifestyle too, okay? So make sure that on top of inviting one-on-one, -on -one, that you're also talking about the coaching opportunity. You're sharing about what coaching has done for you. So one way that I'm sharing a little bit more about the coaching opportunity through my posts is I have made a list. I have made a list of, it's right here. I have made a list of things that coaching has done for me. Okay, and I'll read my list so you can kind of get an idea. Accountability, freedom, security and savings, so financial security and savings community, amazing women, right? Um, belief and confidence, traveling. Um, I'm walking the talk. I'm not just telling my kids that they can do anything that they've ever dreamed of. Some of us struggle with that mom guilt that we hustle and we work hard and that we're taking time away from our family. But we have to remember that we are showing them what it's like to be a strong, confident woman who is going after her goals and teaching them to do the same. Okay. So those are some of the things that coaching has done for me. So what I'm doing is every week I'm picking one topic and I'm talking about that topic, how it's affecting my life. Okay. So right now I'm talking about freedom. The last couple of days I've been talking about freedom in my posts and the freedom that we have because of coaching. Okay. And so I'm connecting with other women who want that freedom in their life. Okay. It makes it a little bit easier to really connect with people one-on-one -on -one when we just stick to one topic throughout the week. And then we do our call to action to connect with that person. Okay. Does that make sense? Instead of like one day talking about freedom, the next day talking about financial stability, the next day talking about traveling, instead of being all over the place, picking one topic and just breadcrumbing and giving little pieces of our story on that topic every day. Okay. So we want to talk more about what coaching has done for us. Then we can use this method. It's called the peanut butter and jelly. So it's very silly. My friend Meg came up with it, but it sticks in your mind because it's so silly, right? Peanut butter and jelly way of inviting. Okay. So how do we do this? Okay. So the first step is connecting with people who are following your Instagram stories, who are liking and commenting on your posts. Okay. So again, you can use this for challenge groups to invite somebody to a challenge group, but I'm going to use, um, in my example, I'm going to use it for the coaching opportunity. So for somebody who's been following me in my Instagram stories or who has liked or commented or engaged on any of my social media posts on Instagram or Facebook, I am mainly sticking with Instagram right now. Um, it's, it's a good place to be right now. Um, business is booming in Instagram and people are more active on Instagram than they are on Facebook recently because of the algorithms and things like that. So um, rather than, you know, kind of crossing our arms and being kind of ho-hum about the fact that Facebook um, affinity and algorithms have changed, we just need to change our approach, right? We need to change with the times and where people are at and where they're being receptive to conversation. So I would say something like this to someone who's been following me or commented or liked on any of my posts. Okay. Hey, so-and-so thank you. Always use their name, please. Not Hey girl, because the Hey girl messages are out. Okay. It's, um, I actually this morning said, good morning. I'll say Allison. Good morning, Allison. Thank you so much for your love on my post last night. Okay. So we're saying good morning. We are addressing them. We're thanking them for engaging and, um, commenting and liking on our posts. Um, for me, it makes it, a, it makes it um, easier for me to post and share my journey when I see others 
following me or being inspired or liking my posts. Okay. So that's the bread. That's the first slice of bread for our peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Okay. Next, we are going to compliment them. So this takes a little bit of effort. We have to go to their page and look and see what do we have in common. Okay, we want to do that first actually to make sure that this is someone that we really want to connect with and that we do have something in common with. Okay, so we're going to compliment them. We'll say, um, see something that you have in common and just say something like, hey girl, like I noticed that you're a mommy of boys too. That's awesome. They are so cute. Being a boy mom is crazy, right? Okay, so we're complimenting them. So that is our peanut butter. So the peanut butter is complimenting them and talking about something that you connect with that's relatable to you in your story, okay? The next part is our jelly. The jelly is the invite, okay? So you might say something like this. I hope you don't mind me asking, but you seem like the kind of person who would be a great fit on my team. Have you ever considered being a virtual coach? Or have you ever considered being a virtual health coach like me? Okay, so the jelly is the invite. Okay, um, have you ever considered takes that pressure off? Okay, it's not salesy, it's not pitchy, it's just asking them, have you ever considered? Okay, there are, there's no, I'm not locking you into anything if you have or if you haven't or if you have questions, just have you ever considered it? And then the last piece of our sandwich is the last piece of bread. And this is where we let them off the hook. Okay, you might say something like this. If this isn't for you, no worries. I just had to ask because I think you'd be a great fit. And then to even add more value and um, be more genuine in that conversation, maybe end it with something like, I hope we can continue to support each other's journeys. Okay? So the first slice of bread is what? It's reaching out. It's saying, thank you for following me. I hope you're having a great day, okay? Just starting that conversation. The next is our peanut butter. We're going to compliment them. Find common interests from their page and compliment something about them, okay? People like for others to recognize their hard work or that to have a nice compliment of you look beautiful or I love those leggings in that picture or whatever, right? It's nice to have a compliment. So the peanut butter is to compliment that person. The jelly, the third piece to our sandwich, is to set the invite, okay? And then the fourth piece, which is our bread, to put everything together, to make it cohesive and keep the sandwich together, is to let them off the hook, to take the pressure away. So I'm going to read to you exactly what I shared with a few girls this morning. I am encouraging you to use this first thing in the morning. Before I even got out of bed this morning, I sent seven of these to seven girls um, for the coaching opportunity on Instagram. I want you to aim for three to five. You guys, it would take you 15 minutes to do this, okay? So this is what I said. Good morning, Maya, and happy Monday, girl. Thank you so much for the love on my post last night. You have a beautiful family and I totally love your silliness with your boys. Story of a boy mom life. And then I put it like the hugging emoji guy. I hope you don't mind me asking Maya, but I think you'd be a perfect fit for our team. Have you ever considered being a virtual wellness coach? If not, it's totally fine, but I love your vibes girl and think you'd be a great fit. I'm excited to be connected and support one another. Can you see how that's genuine and I connected with her? It wasn't pitchy and it, it was really fun to look at other people's pages, to find things to compliment them about. And I found myself smiling to at least give them that compliment to start their day, right? The, when they open that message, it feels good to have somebody compliment you. So I'm going to read through it one more time. And I'm more than happy to share this um, as like a script in our um after our team call is wrapped up and put it in the team as well for you girls to kind of use. So the first part, our first slice of bread. Good morning, Maya, and happy Monday. Thank you so much for the love on my post last night. The next part is our gel, or I'm sorry, our peanut butter, which is our compliment, right? You have a beautiful family girl, and I totally love your silliness with your boys. Story of a boy mom life. 
The next part is our jelly or the invite. I hope you don't mind me asking Maya, but I think you'd be a perfect fit for our team. Have you ever considered being a virtual wellness coach? And the last piece of bread to bring it all together is letting them off the hook. If not, it's totally fine, but I love your vibes, girl, and think you'd be a great fit. I'm excited to be connected and support one another. Okay? So use that to help you get over that fear of inviting or feeling pitchy or salesy or not being sure on what to say for wording. You guys, don't overcomplicate it. Okay. We're not trying to scam people into something. We're not trying, we don't have ill intentions. We're simply inviting people to be surrounded by an awesome team, to have an awesome community of women to uplift them and love them. People need that. You guys, people need that in their lives. So don't be ashamed to share that and be excited. Even if you don't feel super confident about it right now, the more you practice, the more fun it becomes, okay? But remember that pairing that, that um, conversation and that value that you're providing on your social media platform is going to help you get those conversations going, okay? To share about coaching, to share about your journey, about your journey to share a quote that struck your heart for the day. Maybe from your personal development, what was your biggest takeaway? Or what was something that, you started doing in your life that has helped you. Maybe, maybe it's overcoming something. Maybe it's just to create more confidence. Maybe it's to feel happier. Maybe it's to take more time. Okay. All of those things are steps that we as coaches do, right? To create a, ha a happier lifestyle. Okay. And that's what we want to share. That's what we want to be that light for people, right? We want to share that with others and invite them to feel that happiness that we feel on a daily basis, to experience that community, right? Because challenge groups are awesome. Like who doesn't love being in a challenge group and seeing other people working towards their goals, being happy, reaching milestones, celebrating with you when you reach milestones, to uplift you when you're maybe having a bad day. It's amazing, right? So let's share that. Like we very easily go out and share if we bought a new pair of jeans and we love the way that they fit. We're like, hey girl, you've got to go try these jeans on. They're amazing. They were this much at blah, blah, blah. Like we're always sharing stuff, you guys. So don't let the fear hold you back of sharing how awesome being in a challenge group and being on a team of really amazing women and being in this community is like, okay, cool. I hope that that helps. I hope that you start to utilize that. I encourage you to do three to five. Eat that frog. Like if it's something that you're struggling with doing and you're nervous about doing it, do it first thing. I promise you that you will feel so good and accomplished before you get out of bed if you just do it. If you just do it. My routine in the morning, I wake up, I walk downstairs, I get my pre-workout shake because I have to have that before I do my workout. I go back upstairs, I drink that, I read a morning devotional, I journal, and I um, write out two questions. I ask my two, myself two questions in a positive light. Um, like, for example, one of them is, why am I so happy? And your brain starts to think of all the reasons that you are so happy, and you start to smile first thing in the morning. It makes you appreciate all the beautiful things that you have in life. Um, so I write two questions out like that every morning and I think about them. I meditate on them. I write out 10 goals, 10 goals from my business, my family, my life every day. And then I write three things that I am grateful for every morning. And then I pick up my phone and I shine to be that light for those around me. And it is incredible. It is an incredible feeling. I know as a new coach or as a coach that's just getting started back up again, that can be intimidating and that can be scary. Put it, push that fear down because it isn't doing anybody any favors. Be that light and shine, okay? When we shine bright, we give permission to those around us to shine as well. Be that leader for those around you, okay? Cool. 
do either of you have any questions? I'm happy to un I unmuted you just in case you do. I think I gotta let it just process in, Corey. Yeah? Cool. I hope that was and helpful. Set, and set up an Instagram account. <laughs> yes. Yes. Instagram is where it's at, girl. It is where it's at. Like new things. Yeah. Like new things. Yeah, absolutely. Carrie, did you have any questions, hon? No. Nope. All right. All right, girls.